What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Simon Tech once again, and the good old boys over at Vertcoin reached out to me to show off their new AMD one click miner. Well, it's still just their one click miner, but they've added AMD support. We're going to talk about how you can use it, some of the projected hash rates, at least what's been tested so far. And if you stick around, we're also going to see how it performs on the new APU from AMD, which is going to be the Ryzen 5 2400. G stick around so starting things off it's gonna be pretty simple to get and actually download the one click miner is one of the easiest ones I've ever used and we'll go over it with you guys here in a second but first if you guys have any of these cards uh, AMD cards in particular and are looking to mine here's what you can expect looking at the Vega 64 it comes in with a respectable 74 mega hash a second on the Vega 56 it's actually quite a bit lower than I expected because the 56 has been performing pretty close to the 64 in the past but of course some of the memory intensive actions are changing that a little bit here but it's at 60 mega hash a second on the rx 580 8 gigabyte which a lot of people have where you're going to be looking at about 41 mega hash a second and on the 280x you're going to be looking at 23 mega hash a second so some pretty good numbers there you can always head over to what to mine and plug it in and see of course what your daily profit would be on all of those Really, if you're going to want to be getting about a coin a day, you're going to want to be at about 55 mega hash a second. So kind of average that out, which in my opinion looks like it would be the RX 56 or thereabouts if you're looking for that or a single one per that. Of course, at that, paying it off is going to take some time, but let's talk about how you can install it. So getting things started, links will be in the description below. Here we have the Vertcoin project, one click miner. You're going to be looking for version 1.2. And as you can see here under the patch notes, they added AMD mining support via the LYCL miner. And so that's the particular miner that it's going to be using. And it added device selection and device work size segment capabilities to to AMD mining via the settings menu and so on and so forth. You'll just click the vertcoin one click miner setup.msi. If you're on Google Chrome, it will download it in the bottom left hand. If you're in Firefox, it will put it up in the top corner. I can actually show you that right here and it'll ask you to save file. And on the bottom of the toolbar in Internet Explorer. So now we're just going to go ahead and open it up and run it. It will give you a quick little warning here. Uh, executable files may contain viruses and so on and so forth. You will have to accept this to install it. And of course, just be aware that all mining software is considered malicious on most Windows based PCs. Moving forward, it's a basic uh, MSI installer, so it's not going to be that difficult. You'll just uh, select if you want it to be for everyone or you. Select the uh, directory and folder you would like to install it in and click next. And once it's installed, we're ready to move forward. It should put a quick shortcut on your desktop and you'll just double click that to run it. At this point, you'll want to actually add a pool to mine to. You can add a custom pool if you prefer by clicking add pool or you can do a find a P2P node. When you come into here, you will actually just click scan and it will find various peer-to-peer uh, -peer nodes that you can go ahead and mine to. A majority of them are what's in known as kind of a peer-to-pool. So you shouldn't really see too much of a profitability shift between pools because the the hash rate is shared across multiple pools in this instance. I recommend looking at, you know, latency and fees. Uh, those are some good ones to look at, of course. It's really going to be up to you. At this point, you know, I've picked one where I had about 33 latency. You'll just select the pool and then paste your wallet address in here and click add selected pools and you'll be good to go. 
If you need a wallet address, you can always head to vertcoin.org and click download the wallet. You can also download the one click miner from here as well. And you will just want to pick your, of course, platform of choice. If you're mining on Windows, then you would select the Windows one and go through that process. I'll link a video up in the corner for you guys to check that out as well. Once that's been completed, you're just going to select the pool that you want to mine with and you will click down on the minor options and select the AMD minor here and then you will click start. At this point it will go through the setup process and you can see that it's just essentially running the miner for you. You could in theory you know configure this miner by yourself but having it in the one click miner makes it really really simple. And then as I promised I would show you guys the 2400G hash rate and we are looking at around 10 to 11 mega hash a second. This is not currently overclocked at all. So there is all of that. Pretty cool stuff. I do not actually have a kilowatt hooked up to this system at all, but I can tell you even maxed out, it's not even really cresping that 100 watt mark. So you're pretty good to go at this point. Alrighty, so it's pretty awesome that Vertcoin is still rocking and developing new tools to make things easier and more accessible. Having this miner makes it very accessible to the public and I definitely respect the developers for keeping with the project even after the dip in of course the entire cryptocurrency market. If you were looking at an easy way to mine on your AMD GPU, this is going to be the best way to do it. I think it really leans itself towards people that are mining with their gaming rigs in the off time while they're at work or not gaming essentially. So I think at this point with Vertcoin having that nice little bump and kind of finally breaking that $1 mark again, it might not be a bad project to look into, especially considering the fact that the current uh, AMD miners are doing very, very well. Let me know what you guys think about the Vertcoin one-click miner update for AMD GPU support in the comment section below. If you have further questions, please let me know. And as I stated earlier, if you need help with the wallet, that video is up here in the corner. Don't forget to check out our Discord, and if you like video games, come watch me live every night at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time on twitch.tv slash underscore, where I will talk to you about, of course, mining and cryptocurrency, if that's what you so desire. I'll see you next Tuesday.